I am recording because I am going to post this on YouTube later tonight or tomorrow for anyone who wasn't able to jump on. But I always want to start these um, team chats with something good. So I'd love to hear something good that's happened to you guys since the last time we talked last month. Or if you, um, if this is your first time jumping on, tell us something good. Maybe a few people want to volunteer. Anyone? I just placed my first order of the new year. So Yay. that was exciting because I feel like I finally have um, more customers than just my friends and family. And so it's, it's become easier to, um, you know, place those orders as Heck the, yeah. go. So that's, that's awesome. Exciting. I love that feeling. I remember when I like had that first realization, like, wow, these are actually my customers and not just yeah. my friends. And yeah. it's a really good feeling to know that like, you've kind of gotten out of your circle and you've expanded a lot. So that is definitely yes. something good. Yep. Anyone else have anything good? Um, I, I'm a new, I'm a new grandma. Yes, you are. And, um, so babies, babies living here in the house with my daughter and, and yes. Sean. So we have a, it's, it's nice to have a, a new baby in the house again. Yep. So I missed, I family. missed, I missed it when Kat left and took my grandbabies. <laughs> yep, for sure. Now you have a new baby to snuggle and all is good, right? That's awesome. And, uh, and I'm, I'm excited for Ellen to, to be uh, taking the jump. And uh, she, was, she didn't even hesitate. I, you know, I talked to her. I saw her the other day at, at my work. And um, she said, yeah, I'll do it. Yeah, <laughs> so that's excited. awesome. Honestly, there's nothing like new consultant like excitement. And so that'll be really awesome. And hopefully this will give her some good tips to just kind of launch in there. So, hey, Nessie, how are you? Oh, okay. Maybe we will just, oh wait. Okay, maybe not. Okay, guys. So thank you guys for sharing. Um, something good over here is that I've recruited a new consultant um, on the 8th. Her name is Jolie. You might have seen her pop up on the team page. She's doing amazing. Um, I didn't even have to tell her about the Shooting Star Award when she first joined. She said, oh, so I see that Cincy has a goal for your first 15 days to sell 500 PRV. Um, and do you think it's crazy if I go for it? I'm like, no, I don't think that's crazy at all. And so she is going for it. And it's just really exciting because, like I said, there's nothing like that new consultant excitement. And it's just really fun working alongside someone who's super exciting. So it's been really fun. So that's my good and exciting new thing for um, my share. But I'm also super excited because this month is so fun and so crazy. And that's pretty much our theme for this chat is going to be transition month and kind of what that looks like, how you can utilize what's left of the month, and then how you can launch into the new month fully prepared. Okay. Um, so if you guys have any questions, like while I'm chatting, or if you have something else to add, or if you think of um, a good idea or something, please just jump in and talk because I don't need to be the only one talking the whole time because that's what's cool about these lives. So if you do have a question or whatever, just um, talk. And then if you can't talk, like you're putting a baby to bed or you're like eating egg rolls or something, you can use the chat box um, and then we can see it there too, I think. Yep. So, okay guys. First of all, I want to start with an announcement that tomorrow is the very last day to register for World Tour. There will still be walk-ins if space is um, still available, but locations are selling out super quickly. Like, um, Sacramento, I think it is, right, Nessie, is already sold out. Um, so hopefully there, what'd you say? It is sold out. So is Riverside. Yeah. Oh, and Riverside. Dang. Okay. So um, there might, so in that case, because Nessie, you weren't able to register yet, right? So no. there will, there will be event pages or groups on Facebook. So just keep your eyes peeled on that because I'm sure you'll find people closer to like that aren't able to go and they'll sell you their registration ticket. So it's not like the end all be all if you can't register, but definitely try to register. I'm so excited. We have 28 people from our group going to world tour this year, which is amazing. Ooh, is awesome. I'm, 
I know Jessica, you're going to Dallas. Mandy, you're going to where? St. Louis. St. Louis. Someone else is going to St. Louis. Her name is Morgan. Yeah. I think she's on. I think she's on Brianna's team. But I will link you guys up. That way, y'all can um, probably meet up. I was up. gonna say that'd be fun. I'm taking my husband with me so he can yeah. see um, that it's not all ridiculous. Yeah, yes. totally. Yeah, be awesome. I'm taking. Definitely. I'm taking Caleb. He went last year. He really liked it. Yeah. So it, it really helps fun. open up your spouse's eyes to the your world of it. Totally. Mm-hmm. And then next, you'll be earning trips and taking your husband too. So it's good. They say leaders. Leaders are born at events because it's where you see the bigger picture of Sensi. Um, and a lot of times um, when you're a Sensi consultant, you kind of feel like you're the only one in the people around you that like get it and that mm -hmm. understand like, okay, Sensi is a real deal thing. And so it's really awesome to go to a local event and see that you're not the only one who's obsessed with Sensi and sees the vision and is working towards something bigger do y'all hear my cat meowing yes i was just yeah. trying to say was that snoop <laughs> let me let me just let him outside because that's what he wants to do <laughs> i live oh to God. hear your cats Dude. on your live <laughs> every single time every time <laughs> every time never fails okay and then he's gonna meow to come in because it's cold but <laughs> <laughs> it never fails. Okay, but like I was saying, y'all, leaders are born at events because you get to see um, other people who are committed to their Sensi business and who see the bigger picture and who are working towards some of the same things that you're working towards or who have, have already been in the same places that you're trying to get to. And so it's really um, inspiring to see it and be around it. Jason? My son. Jason, I just let him out. Derek. <laughs> Mom life, I swear. Um, he was just checking on his cat because he's totally obsessed with cats. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's fine. Um, so if you guys can swing registering for a world tour, I highly recommend it just because um, sometimes all it takes is seeing that one breakout presentation that just totally fires you up and just changes the course of your business. And I know for me, um, I joined in October. I went to my first world tour in February. So I was only a few months into my Cincy business. Um, I have one person on my team at that point. She didn't go to world tour. It was just me. And I remember looking around and I was just so inspired and fired up by all of these people um, who work Cincy full time, who earn the trips, who completely change their families, like financial circumstances. And so um, if I could recommend anything for you guys, it would be to register for world tour. Your business will absolutely thank you. And if you're nervous to go by yourself, like bring a guest, bring your best friend or your mom or your husband. And you're never alone at Sense Events because there will be other people there too. I'm registering yes. tomorrow and I'm probably venturing by myself. You are? Uh, I think I'll be going I think I'll be going um, alone this this time. But well, I'm gonna come up to Dallas regardless. Yeah. So. so you won't be alone, you'll be with me and Jess and like and other people so you're not going to be alone yeah. girl and that sensey spirit is just so awesome to be around even mm -hmm. though you don't know those people like it's yep. oh yeah i think the, the one first time i went i went by myself or i went with you yeah and uh, you're you were the only one i knew when i went to reunion <laughs> and that was yep. three months into being a consultant which was like probably the best decision i ever made yep probably totally. the whole because you got to see the bigger picture years. right oh yeah oh yeah right from yep. the beginning so it was awesome yep. Totally. Okay. So moving on guys. Yes. Courtney, you're going to, I am so proud of you. Y'all Courtney is relatively new as well. I think like she joined in, correct me if I'm wrong, but you joined in November. Um, and she literally like signed up for world tour right away. And like, she's like already asking questions about reunion and she's just like totally bossing it out. So super inspiring. I cannot wait to hang out with you all day, Courtney. It's going to be awesome. She's going to the Dallas location. Okay. Y'all. Let's move on because we are in transition month and there is so much excitement going on. So let's just name it out. Bring back my bars. Bars are here this month only. We have our catalog sale. Um, we have our discontinued products, Lilo and Stitch, just, or the Stitch Buddies launched yesterday. We have our Valentine's Day collections, the salt lamp warmers, which are so popular. It is insane how popular those salt lamp warmers are. Um, and we have the extra large starter kit for people who join, right? So also we have some price increases happening in 
February, like our diffusers are going up and our fragrance flower prices are going up. So what that means is this is the lowest price these products will ever be ever again, right? And so I'm definitely swinging that, especially the sale price of the diffusers. I'm like, these diffusers are on sale for the lowest price you'll ever see again, right? I don't say, oh, there's a price increase, but I swing it as like, this is the lowest price they'll ever be again. So just keep that in mind. Same with the fragrance flowers. They're not technically part of the 10% off sale, but this is the lowest price they'll ever be again. Okay. So definitely keep that in mind when you are talking to your customers, because there are so many different promotions, right? If you're just um, throwing up a social media post and it's not very intentional, I promise you guys, you're not going to get many bites on it. But when you can focus on individual products or um, things that you use in your everyday life and you can talk up the sale or you can talk up that it's this month only, or if you can talk up that it's being discontinued, or if this is the lowest it'll ever be, or if it's going to sell out, you guys act, our, our people act on urgency. Okay. So like we as consultants know, like these products sell out fast. These bars are only here for the month, but your customers are not going to know unless you tell them. So it's our job to tell them, hey, this is important. This is going to sell out quickly. This is a good deal. You should get this, right? And your customers, what you're doing is you're building trust with your customers. So when you say, hey, you need this because it's leaving or you need to order it right away because it's going to sell out. They trust you because you've been doing business with them and you're very relatable, right? So just keep that in mind that the more you talk up something, the more excited you are about something, the better luck that you're going to have, okay? Um, I would also put a big focus on Scentsy Club, okay? So if you're new and you're not that familiar with Scentsy Club, definitely read the FAQ in your workstation. Read about it in your catalog. Scentsy Club has the amazing perk of the always get my bar. So if a bar is being discontinued at the end of the month, as long as your customer signs up for Cincy Club and puts that bar in their subscription before the month is over, there Cincy is going to continue to make that bar as long as it's in your subscription. Okay. So um and you can pick every month, every other month, every three months. And so this is a really great talking point to that customer. <laughs> AKA me, who's really upset that winterberry apple tea is leaving or vanilla mint is leaving, or I am personally obsessed with apple press and bring back my bar. I never warmed it before recently. Actually, yesterday was the first day I warmed it and that bar is so good. So I'm going to be adding it to my Scentsy Club and I'm going to be talking about Scentsy Club with my customers because I now have quite a few customers who have Scentsy Club because there are um, bars that they don't want to miss out on. And it's a great way to um, get reoccurring PRV. So my customers have their Scentsy Club subscription to ship every single month. I probably have like 200 PRV every single month on Scentsy Club orders alone. Okay. So if you talk up Scentsy Club and you mention how amazing it is or show them your club subscription, you're going to get people interested in Scentsy Club. And the, the saying is, whatever you focus on is what will happen. So if you're always, um, you know, showing off a $3 cent circle every time you make a post, then that's what you're going to sell. But if you're showing off a $130 diffuser every single time you're on social media and you're just talking up these diffusers, that's what you're going to sell. So it's a really good idea to show your lifestyle with Scentsy, right? If you're putting oil in your diffuser, show it. Tell people that it's on sale. If you're wiping off your counters, show it. Tell people it's on sale. Cry about the Luna counter clean leaving because I am. <laughs> I'm crying about that. I'm stocking up on it. And so I have customers stocking up on it too. Okay. Also, don't be afraid to upsell, especially if it's a discontinuing product or scent. Upsell because it's on sale right now. We bundle and save is on sale. And it's just an amazing time to do that, right? Like you don't get offended if the person in the drive-thru asks, like, do you want large fries, right? Sometimes they're like, actually, yes, I do, right? So um, it's the same for your Scentsy business. So today, for example, I was doing some follow-ups. I'm super behind on follow-ups. I needed to knock out some of them today. Um, I texted one of my customers and I let her know that, um, I let her know I have an order going in on Friday and she said, I need two Luna counter cleans and two Luna pods for my Scentsy Go. And I let her know that Luna cleaning products are being discontinued at the end of the month. Did you want to stock up and get a three or a six pack while they're on sale? We don't even have a six pack of counter clean. Okay. Like I just, <laughs> I just threw it out there in hopes that she would maybe bite on the three pack, but she came back and said that she wants to get six Luna counter cleans. Okay. So that went from a 
nine times four, a 36 PRV order to a 54 plus 18, you know, a bigger order. Yeah. Okay. I'm not very great at math, so we're just going to go with it. So it was a larger order just by simply asking. So don't be afraid to ask. If someone's getting three bars, ask if they want a six pack. Okay. If someone's getting a warmer, ask if they want a Sensi system. Okay. Especially while they're on sale, don't be afraid. Okay. This is your business. You're a business owner. You have to think intentionally about your business. Okay. So um, those are kind of all the fun things that we have going on this month. And now, um, what are some other things that we could do to bring in PRV? I think Norma, you had a good idea. What are you going to do? Possibly. Uh, um, oh, oh, for, from my, uh, my Sensi club that came in. No, your open house, right? Oh, my open house. Yeah, I, um, my Scentsy Club, I, every time I, every time something comes on sale, a promotion, and I'm not able to order the promotion, I throw it on my Scentsy Club. Uh, I threw the, um, what was it, the Frozen. I threw all those bars on there and some of the bring back my bars, I put them back, put them on my Scentsy Club because I loved them when, when they came out. So what I'm gonna do is have an open house for my neighbors. I have a lot of neighbors that like to buy on the spot. They don't wanna, they don't wanna order. They just wanna order what, or buy what I have. So all my Scentsy Club bars that, that are coming in this month, I'm going to um, call my neighbors and sell all my bars. Yep. So even though, I, even though I love them, it's, you know, it's just a good way to get, get some sales and get them seeing all the other things that are on on sale now and let them know about the the new season catalog but i want them to um i'm hoping i'm hoping i can get some on the scentsy club yeah i don't have anybody i don't have anybody on it right now yep scentsy club is awesome and it's okay if you sell them because you have more coming later but mm -hmm. i do want to mention in that is that you can still have an open house without selling stock. Okay. Stock is 100% not necessary in this business. Um, you know, I have a small amount of stock and it's all with, um, my hostess credit. So I do not buy full, uh, since at full price, I'm going to talk about this later, but I just want to put it out there that stock is not needed to run a successful Cincy business. Okay. You can have an, a last chance, first glance, um, open house, simply with catalogs and testers and the products that you have and use in your home, okay? So um, I think that an open house is a really great way to collect final orders for this catalog season and introduce people to the new catalog season. And so this would be something that would be really great the last weekend of the month. Um, invite your best customers, your local customers, your family over, um, you know, bake some cookies, have some snacks, it's tons of fun. It's a great way for that last minute PRV for January and then PRV for um, February as well. So I think that um, last chance first glances are a great idea. Hopefully all of you guys have VIP groups because VIP groups um, are really the way that business is shifting because people don't like to be sold to on like their main profile of um, Facebook. They really like groups are really, really popular. So um, people have groups that they love and that they spend their time in. And I know me personally, like if I'm on Facebook, I'm literally either in our team page, my VIP group or our directors group. And like, literally that's it. I, I hardly ever just scroll regular Facebook. And I know I'm not alone. I know a lot of other people spend a lot of their time in groups. And so if you don't have a VIP group, that is your first matter of business is you need to create a VIP group for your customers. I also think it's a really great idea. Let me look at a calendar. I think it's a really good idea to square away your month, right? Get all like work, your dang business for January up until the 29th, the 30th, right? Close out your last order of the month a few days before the month is over and then spend the last two days two days focusing on the new products coming. Okay. Um, I think it would be a really good idea to spend now until say the 29th when you place your last order, um, highlighting products being discontinued. So for me, that's things that I personally love that are being discontinued. My champagne warmer that I have in my kitchen, my Luna counter clean and soap and 
Um, you know, my diffuser shades that are being discontinued, the oils that I love that are being discontinued. I find when I can personally relate to the products being discontinued, people are more apt to buy them because they trust me. Um, however, if you don't have a whole ton of Scentsy in your house, you can go down the discontinued list and just highlight products that are being discontinued, okay? So I would really recommend doing that between now and the end of, like whenever you're closing your last order. When you're done closing your last order, I would let your VIP group know like, hey, so our new catalog launches um, on the first, and while we're sad about all this leaving, trust me, you're gonna be glad. I'm gonna spend my next few days showcasing what's to come, and then one by one, showcase the new items coming and that way you are able to collect orders and so what I do is I showcase I'm like maybe and I schedule these posts y'all I do not have all day to be sitting typing out posts on my VIP group like at night when I'm laying with my babies I'm going to schedule like seven posts for the next day okay and so I'm going to go over Johnny Appleseed cleaning like Luna's leaving and I'm sad about that but check this out Johnny Appleseed dude I'm so excited about that I am so excited like I am sad about Luna leaving but I am so stoked on Johnny Appleseed coming in the cleaning product so you better believe that's going to be one thing that I completely hype up and I'm collecting pre-orders for I'm going to start with the products that I am super excited about our new diffuser that new pod thingy that you plug into the laptop I'm going to be highlighting the new products and then I'm going to be highlighting the new scents and then the new warmers and all of this I'm collecting pre-orders, right? So I let them know, I have an order going in on the first, let me know what you need. And that way, by February 1st, I have orders collected to enter an order on the first and I'm able to get all the things that I want free and half off. Because like I said, I do not buy my Scentsy full price. I buy my Scentsy free and half off, okay? So I do that by intentionally front-loading my calendar by collecting pre-orders. And I do that by showcasing the products to come, okay? So that's how I was able to collect the Valentine's Day products, the Lilo and Stitch products, the Bring Back My Bars, um, the my salt lamp warmers. It was all by showcasing the products and collecting pre-orders. And my customers know and trust that I'm gonna place that order on the first, okay? Oh my gosh, my cat. <laughs> oh my gosh, I could not. So do y'all have any questions in regards to um, how you can kind of close out your month product wise and promotion wise? Because next I'm gonna talk about the supplies that you absolutely need. And then we're gonna talk about some harsh truths. And that is treating your business like a business and not like a consumer. So do you guys have any questions before I move on? No? Good? Okay. So with a new catalog, we have tons of new business tools coming out. Okay. So I want to show you guys bare necessities and how I use them and what I use them for. You guys can take it or leave it, do whatever's best for your business. Um, but these are what I consider necessities. Okay. Transition testers. Okay. Um, Brianna put up a really great post on the True Life page today talking about how to sort through your transition testers. So I'm not going to go through it. Do your homework. Go back and read. It's super easy. You just compare it to the discontinued list and pull what you don't, what we don't need anymore. Okay. Transition testers are on sale, I believe, for like $14 and change mm -hmm. this month. Um, I personally get like three sets because I like to do two sets of transition testers to break into um, like basket parties. And then I keep one full set of testers together always. It never leaves my house. I do not lend these out. I don't do, like they are my testers. I take them to home parties. I take them with the, me like they are mine and I do not lend them out, but my other ones I will. Okay. Um, I like to just keep one complete set because y'all know things happen. People leave them in your car. People leave them. People think they're samples right so I keep one professional set and then I use two other sets for pouch parties but definitely at least get one set and do as you please product training guide this is for last season I need to get my new season one these are two dollars in the success store um, these give you little tips and tricks and selling tips um, tons of awesome useful information um, on the um, on the new catalog okay so I definitely recommend the product training guide. Catalogs, you get 25 in a sheet. Hold on, let me see. Let me just, 
that better? I don't know. You get 25 catalogs in a pack. They're like $12.50. I think they're on sale this month. Oh, new paper smells so good to me. These are great for your loyal customers. Um, people who are interested in actually purchasing a good amount. Um, these mail for like a dollar fifty, so they're not cheap to mail. So if you're mailing these, you need to make sure that it's a promising lead, okay? Because these are not cheap to mail. Additionally, every single person you give a catalog to, you need to write their name down and you need to follow up with them. It is absolutely pointless of you to be handing out these big books of amazing quality information. It is so pointless to hand these out without following up with them, okay? You're literally throwing your money in the trash. So if you're handing out catalogs, follow up with them. Write their name down, okay? Hi, Abby. Thanks for jumping on, girl. I wanted to say real quick, those product yeah. training guides are like, I always take that to events with me because yeah. you don't want to have your phone out at events. And it's really nice to have that on hand so that if they have a question, it's most likely in that book if you can't remember. Mm -hmm. So true. I love that tip because literally at events, people will ask the strangest, most odd questions and you're like, um, yeah, I think this, but yeah, that's a great tip. I'm definitely going to do that next time. Okay, next thing that I personally think is a necessity and some people don't like these product brochures. I don't know why. These are my favorite. They're like four pages. They show every single product in the catalog and they have a fragrance grid on them. The only thing these product sheets don't have is the bundle and save. But here's the thing, like that's where you being a good consultant comes into play. Because if they're like, oh, I want these four bars, you're like, oh, you can get two more for only $6, right? So the lack of the bundle and save does not take away from the amazingness of these brochures. I think you get like, I don't know how many this is. I think it's more I think than you that. get like 20, 25, don't you? I yeah, think. I think it might and be they're, 25. And they're, and they're less, less expensive, but yes. I, I like those. I think they're like $7 or $9. I, I don't know. I think so. Yeah. Yeah. And these are amazing. Personally, I love these. Um, I, I, I do buy catalogs at the beginning of the catalog season, like maybe two or three packs. Once I run out of those, I don't really stress myself out on buying more catalogs. I buy these because it shows everything so beautifully. It's full color. They're straight into the point, in my opinion, easier to browse. Um, so I love these. And then I also fold them up like this and they can fit in a letter size envelope with a scent circle and it will mail for two stamps, okay? So this is what I send my PWS mails is the brochure, a scent circle, two stamps. And um, so I highly recommend these, especially if you want to do mailings and mail catalogs to your best customers. Um, I love the brochures. So I think these are a necessity, okay? And then, I think these product sheets are the bomb too, okay? So product sheets I use um, like, okay, so you know how I say giving out catalogs, you get everybody's name that you hand a catalog to, right? Brochures to me are the opposite. Brochures are what you leave at the gym, at Starbucks, with the barista, um, with your waiter, Things that like you don't know if they're going to call you back or not, but you're going to take the chance and give them a sample and give them your information. Product sheets are where it's at. Also, where I use product sheets is at events. So I'll just set this on the table and they can rip it off or I'll rip it off and hand it to them. Of course, it's going to have my information on it still. And sometimes I'll wrap it up and put a business card and a sample in it. But these are what I hand out. And then like at an event, I'll be like, hey, would you fill this out? And then I can get together with you and send you a catalog. That way, after the event, I can be like, hey, it was so nice meeting you. I'd love to drop off the catalog and some samples, right? So this is more so like less pressure, less um, like, I don't know. I just, I, I use those product sheets a lot. Like when I'm out and about, um, I keep them in my purse. I drop them off everywhere. It's something that I'm going to leave out and about. And if I don't hear back from them, like, 
it's a bummer, but at least I'm getting my name out there. They might order online. They might pass it to someone. They might look at it a few months later. You just never know. But it's a cheap and expensive way to share the products that we have available. Okay. Do any Does anyone else use these product sheets in any different way? Um, just because I, uh, especially close to Christmas and I just didn't have a lot of uh, business supplies. I was like running out of stuff. I always have um, those product sheets. <clears throat> so they went in every order. I mean, I just, I always am happy to pass those out because like so many come in a pack. Yep. Like it's very cost effective. I think, yeah. Yeah. What, what do you get? 50 per pack and it's three packs? Three yeah, packs. So you get 150. Yeah. Like that. Yeah. And I think they're I nine dollars. I'm going to order a stamp the way you yes, have it. Yes, that's exactly what I was about to say. And, Those and stamps are great stamp for it. For, yeah, yep. for that one because yeah. there's too many of them to be putting a label on them. Yep, I do the same so, thing. So I have yeah. my stamp. I put my stamp on them um, as well, just because you're right. There's too many to be putting like a sticker label on them. So the stamps are perfect. I also like if I know that I've given someone a catalog or a brochure, yes. I'll put yeah. these in the orders too. No problem. Yep. Like, hey, let me give you a reminder of what we have because maybe you've misplaced it. Um, additionally, I forget at home parties. At home parties, I will do the catalog or the brochure depending on what I have. But I also do this as like, a wish list because like if I'm bringing a catalog mm -hmm. I, I I would love it if they left the catalog for me to use for the next person so I'll say like mark up whatever you want on this as your wish list and then the catalog you know don't mark in it and then if they want to take the catalog fine but if they want to leave it even better um, but at least they'll have the wish list and then when I go to check out at the home party and I see they've circled a million bajillion things but they're only getting a six pack of wax then it becomes a whole nother conversation like, dang girl, look at all that stuff that you got. Like maybe you should have a party, right? So product sheets, I personally love them. And I think they are a necessity, especially for launching into a new catalog with so many new products and stuff. Okay. Um, so those are my essentials. Um, if you are a big oil person, there's also the oil, um, the oil kit, it's $72, so it's a little bit pricey, but you do get every single new oil, um, and you can sample them or have them at parties and things like that. I sell a ton of diffusers at home parties because there's nothing like seeing them up close and in personal and seeing all the features and having a walkthrough, um, and so having those oils are beneficial to me at like my home parties and stuff, but also sometimes I don't get them because sometimes I collect enough orders that I can get the new oils with my free and half off credit. And sometimes that's a better investment for me, okay? Um, also, the uh, last you know, business transition thing that you can think about is um, the new season sales kit. So they have not been formally launched yet. However, I saw on the director's page that they are coming. Um, I don't know what's gonna be in the new season sales kit this year. Um, or this season, I know last season, it was the first time ever that there was like a clean, a clean new season sales kit with like the new, I think it was Go Go Mango cleaning products. And they had a body one with um, like the pink cotton, was it pink cotton? Yeah, the pink cotton, like Scentsy Soak and all that stuff, right? So I don't, and then they had the warmers, the home kit that came with like six warmers. And then they had the bar kit that came with all the new bars. I think there was like four or five new season sales kits available. And I think that's awesome. I hope they do something similar to that. So those will probably be launched soon. I'm hoping we hear about it by Friday and they're available Monday. That's what I'm hoping and thinking, but I don't know. I just know that they are confirmed that there is going to be new season sales kits. So that's something to think about. But that brings me to my next point. Um, with, with a new catalog coming, guys, it's super important. It is so important, y'all, that we talk about money boundaries, okay? Because um, I hear often, I've been in business for four and a half years now, and I hear often, or almost four and a half years, I hear very often, I spend too much money on Cincy or... I don't have enough money to keep myself active. And I'm like, girl, what are you doing? You should not be keeping yourself active. You should not be buying all your products. It doesn't make sense. You're not a consumer, right? You're a business owner. And um, 
Brianna and I were actually talking about this today because so often people um, come to us saying that they don't have enough money to keep themselves active. And it's really important that we recognize, guys, that we can get our Cincy free and half off. We do not have to pay full price for our products. If we want something bad enough, then we go collect orders and enter them as a party and we get free and half off products. Okay. So it's really important that you really take a look at your business and you say, am I acting more like a consumer or a business owner? Okay. And there have been times in my business where I have acted more like a consumer. Okay. I remember back when I was on my honeymoon back in 2017, literally it made no sense. Okay. We, Derek and I were going on our Mediterranean cruise that we earned through Cincy. Literally our summer collection launched the day we were leaving. And I went on my workstation and I bought one of every single thing that was being launched. Yo, I wasn't even home. I wasn't even going to get the products till 10, 15 days later. Some of the products were already sold out by the time I got home. And then what am I do? Like, what was I doing with them? I just wanted them. Right. So there are instances where it makes no sense that you're putting your family money into your business. Okay. And Orville will say, and you will hear him. If you go to world tour, you will hear him. You are not supposed to put your family money into Cincy. It's supposed to be 100% the other way around. You put your Cincy money into your family. Okay. You join since most people join Cincy with the hope to make money. And if you guys are jumping on a training, I'm guessing it's not because you're a hobbyist consultant. I'm guessing it's because you see the potential and you want more in your business. So I'm telling you guys, you have to look at your money as more than just a vessel to buy the Cincy that you want. Okay. I'm not saying don't invest in the new season sales kit, because if you have a home party in February and you want to show off those products, great. If you're going to go take pictures of these products and stage them in your house and collect pre-orders, great. If you are going to make samples of the new bars and get them in the hands of people and follow up with them and collect orders, great. But don't buy the stuff to then just sit on it and then complain four months later that you spend way too much money on Scentsy because it doesn't have to be that way. That's a choice that you're making by not intentionally working your business. Okay. Like you can absolutely invest in your business and I recommend it. Like I personally invest about 15% of my Scentsy checks back into my business. That's Scent of the month kit, new season sales kit, postage, because I spend a buttload on postage. Um, marketing. Those are things, events. Those are ways that I invest in my business, but you're never going to see me saying, Oh, the new catalog drops on the first. I'm about to go spend $200 in retail, pr retail price. No freaking way. No way. Okay. We work a business that we can literally work our business and then get what we want. Okay, so if you have a whole list of stuff that you want coming out from the new catalog, then you better be intentional and set your business up to collect orders so you can go get your things that you want. Does that make sense, guys? I hope I'm not coming off super harsh, but it's so important that you guys understand that we are in business to make money. We want to bless other people. We want to bring people on to Cincy, and we need to know how to show them how to make money. Okay, people should not be buying their own products so they can hit their shooting star kit or hit certified or hit paid at title. Okay. What you should be doing is building your business and expanding your network and meeting new people and following up and advertising and marketing with the products you do have. And that will turn into sales and you can get the products that you want. Okay. So definitely just understand your investment in the business and really just think of it um, as a way to make money instead of that you have to spend money to stay afloat because that's absolutely not the case. Okay, guys. Um, so did I hurt anyone's feelings? Hopefully not. Hopefully yeah. you guys all understand where, we're, where I'm coming from here. I just, um, I don't want you guys to be in a situation where it comes tax time and you're like, wow, I made $700 this year and I spent $800 on Sensi and that's stupid because that, that is not how it should be. Now, let me say there is something to be said about your first year or so in business, okay? No one teaches us how to be entrepreneurs. No one teaches us how to run our own um, 
sales business. No one teaches us how to market and network and book parties um, in the best intentions in your first year of business. In your first year of business, there are mistakes that are made. There are ways that you can do things differently. But I'm telling you guys to be a smart business owner because the last thing you want is to be disappointed in yourself because you worked really hard, but then you spent more than you made. Okay, guys, because we are here to make money. Cool. Okay, what time is it? 9-11? That's pretty good time. Do y'all have any um, questions for me or um, need clarification on anything or have anything else to add? No. no. Norma, you're muted. Let me unmute you. Oh, okay. What were you saying? <laughs> the, the, new, the new diffusers that are coming out? Yes. In the spring catalog? Mm -hmm. are those, do you know if those are a one uh, reward? Host reward, or are they are they the? I think it, uh, it's sixty five dollars, right? Yeah. So it wouldn't be two. So it it would be two. It would be two still. No, I think I, two is um. Is it, because is it? Isn't even when you got I, the diffuser was, base, like the current diffuser that we have, it was I still it was a two reward. Well, eighty eighty five because those 85. are eighty five dollars. I think anything over eighty five has two. Is Let it, me is just check. Oh. Let me yeah. check. Because I was planning on getting it with a half off. So let me just double check while we're here. Because yeah, here I, I am thinking it would be the two. And if it's just one, then that would be way cooler. Yeah, I think did. if it's a one, I think it's we're going to be able to get more yeah. hosts. Too. It looks I like agree. it looks like one. It doesn't have any. Awesome. It doesn't have anything saying otherwise. Let me just double check on this. Um, bundle and save. And all the oil should be you can be used on both correct yes. yeah yep. yeah they're and, just a uh, different style and this color. one this um diffuser the new diffuser has a huge reservoir uh, i don't know it says like so you can use it all day 450 milliliters uh y'all already know i'm not great at math but it says it, it looks it. larger yeah, it looks huge. It says provides over a, a day. Is is it plastic? Yeah, it's plastic. Okay, but it looks nice. Yeah, I, I think it it's going to be really extremely great. Extremely similar. Like I think it definitely looks like more mainstream diffusers, which I think is a, actually a good thing just because yeah. it does let it be more cost effective and that's what a lot of people are used to um, is how that looks. I mean, like young living and other things that you're gonna yeah. see in the stores. Like yeah, I was gonna say, like. it, it does remind me of that. Of the so, so you said it's 460 milliliters? 450? Yeah, 450 milliliters. So that's about 15 ounces. So okay, Miss Master's degree. Wow, that is quite a bit <laughs> more so it's water still like though. a bottle of water. Yeah, yeah. Water. almost That's two cups of water. Oh, yeah, okay. because yeah. our current diffusers only hold half a cup of water, so yeah. four ounces. It's like not so. at all. That's awesome. Okay, cool. So I'm going to go ahead and say yes, it is available for half off credits because on the next page with the full size, with the um, fancy diffusers, it does have a thing saying cannot be used unless you have two half off. So let's go ahead and say yes, but I will I will double check on the director's page for confirmation. Okay. Um, it's going to be a yes unless I post otherwise on the team page. Okay. So, okay. Um, and also, also the um, what is it? What is the new uh, the one that plugs into the computer? Yeah. So that's um, I think the called? technical name for it is just a the pod flowery thing. USB wall fan. Let me double check. Fan diffusers. Fan oh, wait, diffusers. no. Hold on. Just hang on. Wait, what page did that say that was? It is mini fan diffuser. 48. Mini and it's on page 48. So, so that plugs into that. your computer. Can that plug into your car? Uh, yeah, anywhere with the, USB. the USB. It does? Yeah. Okay. I and those are only $15. I know, Y'all, that oh is God. crazy. That is $7.50 half off. I'm blown away. I'm blown away. That's and we have, we have more fragrances in the flower? 
Yes, I yeah, will be grabbing a black raspberry vanilla yeah. ASAP. Yeah, that'll be good. Yep. Oh, so then, it's like, it's just like one, it comes with the pod in it? No, or do you, you put the, the pod. Do you the pod oh, are you guys talking about the fragrance flower? No, oh. well, we kind of were, but now we're, what well, we were talking about this uh, yes. thing. So yeah, yeah, you just put the pods on top of that, right? Yeah. Yes. Okay. I got confused for a second. Yeah, I'm totally intrigued by that. Mm -hmm. I wonder how it will sell. So we will see. Yes, fragrance flowers comes in lots of new fragrances. Body products come in lots of new fragrances. Johnny Appleseed cleaning products. I'm stoked about now and then since he's so. Yeah, I'm excited about that prickly pear agave lotion. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yep, I, me I too. love that scent. Yep, it'll be really nice. I'm so excited. And pink. What is the new laundry scent we're getting? Is it pink cotton? Yeah. Let me see. Yep. I'm just so excited for this catalog. Like when I, <laughs> when you posted the catalog, I was going through it and like, I was honestly just so shocked at how awesome it was. Yeah. And I immediately had to show Caleb and he got so excited about the diffuser. Cause like he loves our diffuser. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yep. So I know he's like, Seriously, like awesome. what other day do you wake up at three o'clock in the morning on a Friday to look at new products being released a month from now? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Seriously, like we, ha we, I just want you guys to know that like th we are in such an amazing company because there's not very many direct sales companies that are 15 years old that are seeing the insane amount of growth that Cincy is like literally we're going from being a medium-sized company Cincy and whole to being a large size company so all of these um, growing pains that you might be seeing or all these changes that you're seeing it's literally because we are facing such extreme growth that like Cincy is kind of blown away right now they like projected that the Disney thing would be great for our business but they did not imagine that it would be so amazing. They did not imagine that over 120,000 people would sign up this year in 2019 alone. Like what? That is craziness. Crazy. Craziness. So I just want you guys to know that y'all are in the right spot. This business absolutely works if you work it and if you stay consistent and you put your head down and you get to work. Don't worry about what this consultant's doing that just seems so amazing and you need to do it and this consultant and this consultant. You guys, you just do what works for you. Once you're steady and you're going good, then you can try something new. And if it doesn't work, get rid of it. Try something else new. But don't try to mimic what someone else is doing or do a million things at once. Literally, just put your head down, focus on what you got to do, be the best consultant you can be. And then as you get your bearings, you can add in things here and there. Okay, guys. So just know that. And just know that I'm here for you guys. I might not check in with you guys all the time, but you guys know that y'all can always message me. You can always text me. And I love you guys. And if y'all have any other questions, let me know. Do you? Will you post uh, where you're going to, where you, your YouTube link, where we can yes. find this? Okay. Mm -hmm. Yep, I'm going to okay. upload it. It'll probably take, it takes a while to upload, so I'll post it in the morning with my YouTube channel. So. Okay, thank you. Okie doke. All right, guys, do y'all have any other questions other than that? No, no. I'm so excited for World Tour. <laughs> Me too. Okay, guys. Well, then that's that. I appreciate you guys very much, and I love y'all, and thanks for jumping on. Um, the next Tuesday call will be the first Tuesday of the month. So last Tuesday was my birthday. Sorry, but I was taking a day for myself. So next, our next call, put it on your calendars, February 4th, 8.30 p.m. Central Time. Okay, guys? Um, I'll post it more later on in the month, but just so you guys know, February 4th, we will be hanging out here again, and I think we're going to talk about recruiting, but I'm not 100% sure. I'll let you guys know. So, all right, y'all, I'm logging off, but I will catch y'all tomorrow on the team page, and I love you guys. I hope y'all have a good night, okay? Yeah, all right, good night. Good night. Good night. Bye. Bye, guys. Bye. Bye.